Okay, I hope you can answer the quiz before this. Now I'm going to show you the implementation of fuzzy rules. Okay, in this case, uh, we are going to decide how fast uh, we can drive, okay, based on these rules. Okay, so you have this rule, if it's sunny and warm, uh, drive fast. Okay, so this is the variables that we use. Okay, if you remember the uh, predicate logic, okay, so cover of sunny, okay, and temperature is warm, then we drive fast, okay, the speed is fast. If it's cloudy and cool, okay, that means the cloud cover, alright, and also the temperature is cool, so the, the speed will be slow. Okay, so driving speed uh, based on these rules is the combination of output from these rules. Okay, so how can we proceed? Okay, so given, given the values of these uh, rules, for example, we have the temperature here, 65 degree Fahrenheit or equivalent to 18 degree Celsius. So uh, I hope you can understand how cool it is, 18 degree Celsius. And also 25% cloud cover. So that means it's not uh, too uh, cloudy, right? Or mendung, it's 25% degree only. Uh, 25% only. So how, how far should we go? Or how slow should we go? So using a uh, fuzzy logic, first in the fuzzification process, okay, we need to uh, project or map this information into the membership uh, value. So if you can see here, okay, uh, we have uh, four uh, fuzzy values here. We have freezing, okay, which is from degree from zero uh, degree Fahrenheit, okay, until fifty degree Fahrenheit. Okay, but it's hundred percent uh, freezing. Okay, it's from zero until uh, thirty-seven. That is zero degree uh, Celsius. Okay, so that means the water is frozen at zero degree Celsius. So using a Fahrenheit, it's slow. Uh, it's lower from zero degree Fahrenheit until thirty is frozen, and then it's becoming cooler. Okay, from thirty to fifty degree Fahrenheit. Okay, from 30 degree Fahrenheit until 70 degree Fahrenheit, we, they call it as a cool. Okay, still cool but not freezing. Okay, cool uh, and the most ideal uh, cool temperature is at 50 degree Fahrenheit. Starting from 50 degree Fahrenheit until 90 degree Fahrenheit is warm. Right, warm uh, where the peak is at 70 degree Fahrenheit. And again, starting from 70 until 93, it's starting to become hot. Alright, and it is really hot from 90 degree Fahrenheit until the rest. Okay, so the membership is dependent on us. So maybe this is used in uh, European countries or United States where they have this uh, freezing uh, or snowy winter. Right? Okay, so if... Uh, we have the temperature at the time is 95 degree Fahrenheit. So we project here, uh, sorry, 65. So this is 60, so this is 65, right? So draw a line, alright? And then you have to read the value here. What is the projected value? Okay, to know how cool it is or how warm it is. So we can see that this line, okay, intersect with cool, the blue line, alright? As well as with warm the green lime green line okay so it's intersect with the cool at 0 0.3 okay and it intersect with warm at 0 0.7 so the degree of membership function okay we can say it's belong to cool okay 30 percent belong to cool membership and 70 percent belong to warm temperature All right next we will cut with the uh the other attributes, okay, that is the cloud cover, 25% cloud cover. So again, we project a line here at 25% uh, cloud cover, okay, and it intersect with the green line at uh, 0 0.1 cloudy. The green line belong to cloudy, right, partly cloudy, alright, so 0 0.1 and it also intersect with the yellow line that is sunny at 0 0.1. 7 here all right so we can say that at 25 percent cover that means it's only 10 percent uh cloudy or partly cloudy and 
uh, 70% sunny. Okay, so based on this, okay, we put it back into the rules. Okay, so there are two rules here. If it's sunny and warm, alright, dry fast. So the sunny cover that we can get, okay, from previous is 0 0.7 and 0 0.7. Okay, recall here that is a sunny and warm, the temperature. Okay, so it's this one, sunny. Okay, and also from the temperature, warm, 0 0.7. Alright, so we get this. Okay, so 0 0.7 and 0 0.7, we take the minimum, which is 0 0.7. So the value for fast, okay, how fast we go is... 0.7 or 70% fast. Alright, how about the second rules? Okay, we have to use the second rules as well. If it's cloudy and cold, drive slow. Okay, so again, we take the value that we read from the graph previously. Okay, so we have here a uh, cloudy as 0.1, okay, or 10% when it's 25% cover, as well as it's cool temperature, 0.3. Okay, therefore, we map it back into the uh, rule okay we may be back to rule 0 0.1 and 0 0.3 take the minimum that is 0 0.1 okay so 10% slow so how to project this into the output okay after we evaluate these rules okay we give the value for the rules okay we start with the defazification process okay constructing the output so this is the graph for the speed Okay, so we categorize uh, driving as slow from zero mile, zero mile per hour until 75 mile per hour. Alright, uh, and uh, fast starting to speed up starting from 25 uh, mile per hour. Okay, until 100. And so, how do we do this? From the values that we get in rule evaluation, okay, we need to find a centroid where the membership is 100%. 100% belong to belong to slow membership or fast membership. Alright, so first, this is where it's 100%. Right? Because here, it's on half-half. Okay, it's half uh, fast and half slow. Similar with this area. Okay, it's becoming faster and uh, uh, less slow. Okay, in this area. Alright, so find central of these two areas. So we have a reading set 25 mile per hour and also 75 per hour, mile per hour. Okay, so what is the speed? Okay, we have to find uh, the weighted means that is at 25 degrees Celsius. We, it is, uh, sorry, it's 10% slow okay 10 percent slow okay so this is 0 0.1 okay times 25 okay that is the speed at that time okay plus the value here okay okay that is at 75 with the 70 percent fast Okay, so 75, 70% uh, 70 faster that we get from the rule evaluation just now times with the 75 uh, mile per hour. Okay, add these two together, divide by the 0 0.9. Where do we get 0 0.9? It's the addition or the total of 0 0.7 and 0. Point, I'm sorry, this should be 0 0.1 again. Alright, and this is... 0.8 Alright, so okay. Right, so the new value of the calculation will be 68.75 mile per hour uh, That is the driving speed that the car uh, would uh, proceed or, or decide Okay, based on uh, the input that uh, we give or maybe the sensor read from the temperature Alright so the other usage of fuzzy, fuzzy logic is in a temperature controller in a condition as well as in a freezer and I will give you also a link in YouTube and you can find more actually on how they implement the fuzzy logic control 
in a rice cooking. Alright, so I hope you understand the topic and uh, enjoy the world, world, world full of fuzzy. Thank you.